preparing myself for my next video. That was my new, um, brrr, brrr. Did you ever watch Wayne's World, um, where it gets to the end and they have the alternative, the alternative ends to the movie, and they go, brrr, 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 and then they do another ending. That's what I just reminded myself of. Anyway, the lighting's really weird in this video. We've had, like, apocalyptic darkness all day, and then the sun keeps coming out, um, and shining for, like, ten seconds. So if my face starts glowing, like, white, it's because the sunlight has hit me directly. Because it's, you know, diagonal line. Um, but yeah. Uh, today's video, or this video, is going to be about my essential brushes. The brushes that I love and I use all the time. I don't know if it's going to be useful to anyone. Um, but I felt like it. And, yeah, why not? Um, I'm going to kind of divide them up into essential for me and nice to have. Um, so, you know, if any newbies are watching, which I'm sure there aren't that many. I'm sure you're all pretty seasoned by now. The YouTube train is uh, chugging with ever-increasing velocity. So we're all learning. Um... So you're probably all seasoned professionals by now. But I don't care. I'm going to talk about my brushes. So um, I'm going to start with face. And I have about six face brushes. Um, and these are my four essentials. Um, my first one is my foundation brush, which is a Louise Young LY34. Um, this is the best foundation brush I've ever used, without a doubt. It's got synthetic brush brushels. Br <laughs> bristle, it's got synthetic, oh god, I can't talk, it's got synthetic bristles, um, so it doesn't soak up loads of product like the natural, um, bristles do, um, and it's the same, it's got the same bristles as a foundation brush, a regular foundation brush, except for the fact that it's dense, it's a really, really dense brush, and it's a rounded tip. So what it's good for is just basically slapping on foundation, literally, I just slap it on and then buff. It's like a two-in-one, like you don't, with when I was using um, a regular foundation brush and then also the MAC 187, I found that I'd need to put the product on with one and buff with a different brush, um, but this is pretty much just foolproof. You literally just put it on and then work it in. And it I mean I'm not gonna say it gives you the the airbrush finish because it's not about that, but it gives you a really good distribution of product and really good finish on your foundation. So uh this is one of my essential brushes. Uh and I think for everyone you you always need a good foundation brush and this is my particular staple. It costs about £22, so it's really really reasonable as well. Um Another brush, uh, the Humble Kabuki, the brush of many uses, um, which just reminded me of Joseph and his amazing Technicolor dream coat and his coat of many colours. I'm a bit of a geek, aren't I? Um, but this is the MAC 182 and it has lasted me quite a long time, probably about three years, and I'd expect, I'm expecting it to last quite a lot longer. Um, I can't remember how much this cost, but this is like... For me, this is my essential brush because it is an all-rounder. I can use this for anything, and when I go on holiday, I will essentially take three face brushes. I will take a foundation, a blush, and a kabuki. The reason why is because I can, with this, I can put on, I can flatten it a bit and put on bronzer. Uh, you can do loose powder, you can, you, you can do... Um, pressed powder, doesn't really make any difference between the powders I guess. Um, you can also use it to blend out the lines in your foundation. So this is pretty, oh and blend out your blusher as well if you put too much on, which is my my fault which will never go away. Um, but this is like the, the most versatile of brushes I've ever come across. It's just got so many uses and it's really soft and it's a really good brush. So this is one of my favourite face brushes. And then the last of my essential face brushes um, is a blush brush. Now I used to use the MAC 116 I think it is, which is a goat hair black brush. It's really similar to um, this brush, except it's a lot, lot smaller, but it is a domed black hair brush. Um, and I found 
<coughs> recently that this is the easiest brush for me to use um, because it's really it's really small. So for me, because I've got quite small face, um, well, I think I have. Maybe I've got a really big face, and no one's telling me. Um, but I find it really easy to apply just really gently a little bit of product and then blend it up and it's just a really nice brush to use. It's really soft and it's actually good quality and considering I've had a lot of bad experiences with MAC brushes this is a really good brush for me. And then a nice to have brush which is a really recent um, addition is the Sonia Kashuk Synthetic Flat Top Brush. This brush basically does everything that Kabuki brush can do because you can even apply foundation with a kabuki brush and it looks amazing and this does the same. I use this for my foundation today and it's literally effortless. I still will reach for this one over this one but in a pinch if I want a brush to do everything this is amazing. It literally just buffs and blends in with no effort. You can also stipple if you want a bit of a heavier coverage. Um, you can use it for powder. It's especially excellent for cream brush blush I love it for that and it's also really good for dry br blush as well so um, this is has, is fast becoming one of my central brushes uh, it's really good and for the price I paid for it which was like four pounds I absolutely love it and then I have a few essential eye brushes uh, one of which I'm sitting on okay um for eyeshadow, every person needs a good eyeshadow brush. Um, my essential eyeshadow brush is the 239, um, which I think is pretty much everyone's essential. It's flat, the bristles are fairly soft, it's easy to pick up products and put on your eye. <coughs> However, if you want a brush that's nice to have, this one is fast becoming an everyday brush for me, and it is the Sonia Kashuk Large uh, Eyeshadow Brush, which you can get in various guises. You can get one from MAC. But this is really soft and if you're just going for a daytime look where you don't need to pack on any colour, this is really awesome because it just sweeps colour across your eyelid. Just It gives you a sheer wash which is really pretty um, and it does it in a really good way. However, if you're not used to this, you can poke yourself in the eye. Or Well, I poke myself in the eye with this a lot. But um, this one is essential for me and this one is just nice to have but I love these all the same. And now, if you're going to go for a crease brush, most people go for the 219 by MAC, which is the pencil brush. And I would actually say that I found a brush that I like better than the 219, and it is the Sonia Kashuk uh, Large crease, crease Brush. And um, the reason I like it a lot better is because they do essentially the same job. However, this brush... Um, is good for placing product and blending in a really specific area but this job is good for that and blending out as well so basically th with this job with this brush you can do like t a couple of things with this brush you can put it you can place it specifically you can blend it and you can blend it up uh, and it's just a really good multitasker it's like a three in one for me because this brush sometimes I find it's a bit scratchy on the eye and um, it's just not doing what I want it to do. So this is my essential brush for the crease and this is alright. And other brushes that I love. Um, one of my essential blending brushes is the 226 by MAC. It was, oops, you can't see. It was limited edition but it's essentially like the 224 but it's tapered. And the reason I love this so much is, is, is because it's really awesome for precision blending. Um, and the bristles are really soft, but the bristles don't splay like they do on the 224. But the 224, the I found always found that the bristles would splay all the way up to like here. And I, instead of getting the blending where I want it to be on my eye, I would always have like colour just all the way up here and I have to go clean it up and I just found the 224 too messy and annoying to use and too soft and had way too much give. This is a bit more rigid so if you can find a brush similar to this, I'm pretty sure Laura Mercier have one which is similar, um, I think it's like the ponytail brush or something, or something ridiculous like that, um, or the pony hair brush but um, I love this, this is one of my central blending brushes. And then in my makeup um, kit, kit? No, in my makeup collection, I should, I should say, I don't really have a kit because I'm not an artist. Um, I think that everyone should have the 
a really good liner brush and for me my perfect liner brush which I will buy over and over again is the Louise Young, um, I can't remember what number it is but it's about £10 and it's the finest brush I've come across. It knocks the 209 and the 210 right out of the water from MAC and it's really fine and excellent for applying gel liner and also for applying liquid product I found recently. Um, so I absolutely love this brush. Um, I'm a firm believer in liquid liner. Uh, I do pray to the holy altar of the uh, liquid liner. So um, I'm a bit of a junkie there. So it may, it may not be essential for you. But my last brush is eyebrows. Um, I think that eyebrows are really important to define and I use my 208. It's an angled brush and I use it with eyeshadow. My video's got really long so I'd better go. Um, take care everyone.